Well, hello my friends. Alfred Taro here, the Rebel Turner, and I am back. Back on the lead on a catamaran. And I'm going to apologize right off the bat that I put the piece up and I started doing a couple of test cuts before I decided to stop recording. But anyway, I'm still not completely set up, but I am anxious. Uh, I still need the vacuum system going on over here, so I will do what I can with the working, with what I got for the moment. But I do have my face shield. I have my sharpening station ready and already sharpened the tool, which works out pretty well. I'll probably show you that later on. And for this first turning, I'm going to try something that's actually fairly complex. Uh, complex in the sense of how you approach this particular piece. It's not a log, but, and I've done it before. Stephen Ogle has done it before. Um, I believe the first person I saw was, uh, oh, I can't think of his name and I love this turnings, uh, very down to earth guy. Um, but anyway, let's get to the lathe and show you what I've done so far. Okay, so I got a cube. It's fairly accurate tubing uh, in proportion. Um, I cut this way back at the home and it was basically just a solid cube. I inserted one corner of it into the cavity on my uh, spindle and the other end I cut just a little tip off it so I could get a life center in there without being a point. If it was on a point it would slide over to the side so I just took the hacksaw and cut just a little bit off that. And uh, from that point on it was just a matter of going in here started off with my bowl gouge going in and then I decided eh, let me use a little bit something a little bit more refined and I went to my diamond point uh, scraper and I went in there and created what I believe is a good size tenon right now I'm working on this section over here to bring this down and then final cut this with the saw uh, so I can put this on my chuck it's pretty good that's my sampling this is not a time to be very aggressive with a turning like this This tool has not been sharpened in years. It's not a tool that I would sharpen very often, but right now it needs a sharpening. Ah, 
just a little bit better. And I'm just about there. So I'll put this tool away and I'll go in there with a parting tool just a little bit. Don't want to go too deep because I don't want this to fly off and keeping it slow. I'm looking at the gap over here, which I can see very clearly where I am in relationship to the points of the piece. I'm going to speed it up. Thousand RPM. I'm doing this particular turning is actually because this I can't think of I don't have anything that would give me a better test right now than this as far as the lane is concerned for power and for uh, ease of use this really does give me a good test on this cut I'll keep bringing it up till I'm about to hit this point but it looks like I'm too far away on this this one right here. Close, close, but far away. That means that my cube is really not 100% true. So I'll make a slight adjustment at this point to bring this point out towards me a little bit. And it's still time to do it now than it is later it's not that bad so it it's going to wobble slightly so i'll slow it down first and then get it through again towards here i'm going to make this a little bit deep over here by removing the tails the heads the tail stock and we throwing that bottom again so I can uh, get a nice grip on that. center over there again and enough wood to hold me up. Now speed it up again.
that's better I wanted to create a little bit of a, a cave there there is one other thing that I want to say in regards to lathe work and safety one thing that I have realized I kind of knew this from before but uh, just this week a friend of mine's let me know he was in a hospital because and I asked him why and his reason was because he was doing some woods turning a 12 inch bowl and you got a catch and the catch pulled this tool from his hand and apparently it went in and it busted up his hand his two fingers were really bad some bad gashes broken bones and uh, he's got to be on splits for a little while so with that being said the more powerful your lathe is the more caution you have to take not necessarily just the speed which is very important but the fact that if you get a catch with a lathe that has a lot of power that catch uh, could be pretty nasty it's going to pull the lathe the tool in it will snap your tool it can do lots of things uh, that could be pretty devastating I didn't realize that as much as I have right now uh, because mines have always been a moderate amount of power and I could always stall my lathe if I push in my work hard enough and that is the difference um, on my lathe if I get a catch I can generally stall the lathe rather than cause some serious damage to my tools or to my body so that's one thing to keep in mind if you got a strong blade you also have quite a bit more possibility of uh, serious injury more than I do gotta set the mark over here you can take this off and uh, spin it around
So, it's a tea light. It's also the base of uh, this piece. This piece will be a multi-purpose, a three-wing, three-purpose uh, turning. So it's a vase, not a deep vase, just shallow, because the intent is to do something with the opposite side. And the opposite side will be a bowl. I'm going to continue with my 5.8 Hurricane Bowl Gunch. Speed! Eh, I've thrown it off true a little bit, but we should be good. 1200 RPM is the speed. Now, if I don't create a bottomless, probably I'll be in good shape. Uh, favorite shine OB shine juice I'm gonna buff the centers but I cannot buff the wings I've missed all of this. Now I have not used any grits, anything of that sort, no sanding sealer. I just went directly into the OB shine juice. Now it's oak so it's placed to my advantage. It's fairly dense wood. It doesn't have soft spots that you would have on certain woods, um, cherry and uh, mahogany uh, has a tendency to always create a soft spot on the cross grain so like I said this oak which is water oak and water oak is distinguished when it's on a tree because um, the bark the stump going up has silver rings going up the whole uh, length of the tree so that's how it's one of the oaks that's easily recognizable. So I'm just going to use one of these uh, pads as a cushion. And that's only just so I can buff the outside of this. So go in here, 
get my life center back in there and then I'll manually do the uh, the inside and I'm not too worried about the wobbling As long as I'm not going crazy speed and lose it out of the lathe. And again, would this look good as hollowed all the way down and uh, just create what it was? initially designed as a three-wing bowl absolutely but this just gives it that little bit of a twist away from the norm well i wanted to do this second part of it for next week's turning but i decided okay that's enough uh holding people on edge so let me do the whole thing and see what you guys think of it let me know don't forget, give me a thumbs up and share this turning with your friends. That's how you can help me out a great deal on my channel. That's what it's all about. And I am so happy to have this setup back again. I know it's not my workshop that I had, but boy, do I feel good about this one. When I come I out here, I generally don't come for a long period of time. Uh, because it is turning on a boat and I don't want to I'm not mass producing I come over here have fun uh, create something maybe that might be a little bit different from the norm our productions are somewhat versions of another turning uh, slightly modified or not modified or copied to a T uh, whatever it is something that we saw triggers something in our mind and we approach it with our own interest I guess um, so if we can flare it up a little bit that is great but if we just do something that was great from somebody else and make it up again we've done our job our job is to have fun at the late <laughs> and if something extraordinary comes out of it even more so more power to us but it's go out there have fun and come back to see another alfredo turning take care thanks for watching